I'm Jackson Jenga from Ormoran Ward. Mimi ndio naongea kuhusu security. Na bwana volume. Um, Mr. DG Mimi naongea kuhusu security. Uko Ormoran Githiga, Sosian, watu wanauliwa kama mbuzi, hatuna mtetezi. Ngombe zikipigwa siku hii ingine mnaona kesi kotini. Tunauliza kweni sisi tuko upande gani? Viongozi wetu wamejaribu wametupeleka mpaka huko kwa haji. Seneta wakaleta akina Wetangura, huyu Matiangi wakakuja wakasema hao watu wako na buduki za guvu kuliko serikali. Tunauliza ni laia mgani anastahili kukaa na buduki. Mimi ni muadhiriwa. Ngombe zangu ziliibiwa, nikapigwa risasi kwa mguu, nikakosa pesa ya kwenda hospitali, ile pikipiki nilikuwa nayo nikauza ndio nipate pesa ya kulipa hospitali. So hii serikali ambayo inakuja tunaomba mtuangalilie usalama wa Gedega or Moran na Sosian. Uko Sosian nyumba zimeteketezwa, watu wameuriwa siku moja watu watatu. Tunauliza si ni serikali gani? So hizi ngombe zikiibiwa zinaenda hapa Barigo. Barigo sio Uganda, ni hapa chini. So tunauliza kama mtu aki, akipotea anaweza tafutwa mpaka ndege. Si hizi ngombe zetu zifuatwe. Hiyo kitu ingine. Ngombe zetu zikiibiwa, mzikikosa kurejeshwa, tupewa ile compensation sababu hakuna mtoto wa tumbo na wa mgongo. Toleho ngombe sito si adie. Hiyo kitu ingine ya mwisho tafadhali kuna hao wafugaji haramu walisema wapewe nafasi siju ya kuchunga mahali wanapotaka huko kwetu tunasema kama hauna shamba na we ni mfugaji haramu hakuna mtu hana kwao watu waende kwao sisi tubaki kwetu tukae na usalama sababu unakuta hao watu wanaingisha ngombe kwa mashamba anakuuliza wewe ndio umekojelea hii mahindi hiyo mahindi yako umetumia pesa yako umetumia your facilities kufanya hiyo kazi ya mwisho kabisa ya mwisho sitaongeza tuko na NPRs hawa vijana wetu hawalipi chochote huyu mtu amepewa buduki anaenda kibarua apeli chochote jana mchana saa saba tulifamiwa na wakora sasa tunataka hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza wapee wale vijana pesa plus watuongezewe sababu wale askari wanaletwa pare mtu ametoka Mombasa hajui the terrain wale vijana wanajua area ndio wamuonyeshe jia hata mimi vile nilikuja hapa niliulizia Uraino iko wapi so sisi ndio wenye shida ya huko tupee kazi tuonyeshe serikali jinsi ya kufanya kazi asanteni haya thank you haya haya sasa maoni imetosha ime kaeni si tafadhali Unajua lazima si kila kitu iko na mwanzo iko na mwisho. Yale mnasema tu iko sawa tafadhali. Ah. Eh? Tutakuja tena. Si mmesema kila mwaka. Si mnasema kila mwaka. Sasa <laughs> kwanza kwanza tafadhali. Nishukuru wale wamenena na watu ya ekipia. You know what you want. Si mnajua Mlikuwa mnasema na mnatoa solution. So hakuna shida. Na hiyo kijana ameongea ati watu wa laikipia mlikoza watetezi hapana. Huyu seneta amekuwa akitetea nyinyi. Mambo ya usalama. Hata mimi nimetetea nyinyi. Shida tulikuwa tunaongea na watu ni kama mawe. Si ndio? Ili akina Matia ni kama mawe. Hata ukiongea wanajifanya wa hawasiki utetezi huyu kenywa he was calling me akiwa kila pahali kukiwa na shida. Si ndio? Kwa hivyo upande ya viongozi kutetea watu ya Laikipia tumekuwa na watu wanatetea watu ya Laikipia. Shida ni wale ni kama mawe na washughuliki na wana na haja. Hiyo taarifa Matiangi alitoa kusema ati wakora tu wako na nguvu kuliko serikali. Hiyo sasa ni statement ya kutoa. Eh? Na juzi tumeona pale kwa madaraka D ile vifaro imepita pale mbele ya rais. Simuliziona? Simuliziona? Si hizo vitu iko. Hakuna shida. Shida 
because niliongea mambo ya usalama kulikosa political will ya kusaidia watu ya Laikipia mambo ya NPR tutarudisha NPR wale vetted wachache watakuwa vetted wanafanya kazi because ya hiyo terrain wale wanaelewa they work together with our officers na mambo ya Laikipia hakuna haja nitangaze hapa vile tutafanya kwa sababu hiyo ni mambo ya usalama si ndio mimi mwenyewe hiyo ndio kazi yangu mimi ni leader training ninajua nilikuja hapo 1998 tukamaliza nilikuwa mtu mdogo dio nikamaliza huko la kipya sasa nikiwa deputy president anishinda itanishinda silikutoa tu amri on what needs to be done we must have a plan for la kipya kwanza vijana tutafutie kazi si ndio wale watakosa kazi tuwaongeleshe wale wachache hawesikia we deal with them si kwa namna hiyo lakini solution shule pesa mfukoni vijana wakue busy wale ambaye hawezi kubali wanafikiria lazima waendelee kuiba ngombe na kuua watu hawa tuko na askari ya kutosha tuko na vifaa ya kutosha and i want to disagree with matiangi it's not possible there is no way criminals can be more powerful than a government it is not true hiyo ni hiyo ni uongo we have served in this government we know we know our capacity we know our budget every year for the military and for the police it is in billions of shillings how can you say as minister of in, char in charge of interior that criminals have more firepower than a government that is a very irresponsible statement from a cabinet secretary i want to assure the people of laikipia and the people of kenya that the government we are going to lead has enough capacity to deal with criminals conclusively so that people of Kenya can have peace. Tumekubaliana? Mambo ya usalama tafadhali mtu aachie. Tumekubaliana? Let us say no more about it. We know what needs to be done. Yetu tu ni kutoa hakikisho ya kwamba kutakuwa na usalama like here. That we have given that assurance. Tunajua what needs to be done. What was lacking was a political goodwill ya kulinda watu ya like here wapate amani na amani itapatikana na ikipia so maoni yote mmetupea tumejibu karibu yote iwapo unapenda habari nazokuletea basi subscribe kwenye channel hii ili uwe unapata uhondo kila wakati shukran mnasikia juu ya uhuru kinyata uhuru kinyata wakati ilikuwa sign